What is going on everybody? It's your boy Neo Soul Gamer here and I am back with my first RPG Maker first impressions video in a very very long time. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into this. Um, we're going to be playing Our Dying World um, by The Real Tron. And uh, first things first, let me just shout out The Real Tron. Um, you've been showing me a lot of support over the years, man. And uh, we didn't really start talking much uh, until recently. And uh, I didn't, I didn't know that you, you thought, uh, you know, you, you had such praises for uh, my game and me. And I just, I really appreciate that positivity, man. Thank you so much. Uh, so I think it's only right that as my first comeback video. Um, we play Our Dying World. So, and here's the thing. Typically, I don't do this, right? Our Dying World has been getting a lot of exposure around the community between uh, a lot of Let's Players. And typically, when I see that, I like to do something else. I don't like to play, you know, the game so quickly after they've already been played by so many other LPers. However, I spoke to uh, I spoke to Jeff, and I, initially I was going to say I'm not doing a first impressions video. I'm just not doing it. I think I even told Tron that. And uh, Jeff <laughs> says, so what? Just, just do it. You know, there's still, you're still gonna offer something unique. There's, there's, there's still something about the way that you do your first impressions videos that has value. And so, uh, I was worried about viewership, uh, engagement, that sort of thing, because people had already seen it so many times. But uh, I'm gonna test out Jeff's theory, and like I said, I owe Realtron a favor. So here we are. We're gonna jump right into it. Nice title screen, by the way. I really like the, uh, the artwork. It's great, actually. I really like it a lot. Um, music, very good. I like it. Um, this is a great title screen. I love it. And props for not using the Mog Hunter um, <laughs> magic circle. I'm getting sick of seeing that. That same blue magic circle that is just has the same pulsating effect uh, from the bottom right hand corner. Like that's getting old, guys. Like let's try let's try mix it up a little bit. You know. I probably should have went to options. This game is currently in a demo state. Everything you see here is subject to change in the future. For those new to RPG Maker, F4 is for full screen. I already got that. And F5 takes you back to the main menu. F5 is like a reset. When you say F5 is taking you back to the main menu, people could mistake that for taking you back to the main menu in game. Um, I would say take you back to the title screen because uh, that can be a little confusing. So uh, this game isn't fully controller supported. It is highly advised to play with a mouse and keyboard. Okay. If your monitor runs above 60 FPS, please turn on sync monitor FPS in the visual selection. Okay. Uh, we're just going to continue. I have two monitors hooked up. My gaming laptop, which I'm not playing on. I'm actually playing on the 60 FPS monitor. If you have any feedback, please comment on the game page, join the Discord, or answer our feedback questionnaire. Thank you for downloading and playing Our Dying World. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into Sometimes it. Sometimes life can seem really unfair. We've got some voice acting, so I'm going to shut up. It may seem like no matter how hard you try, train, or work at something... You just can't do it. I know I used to feel that way once. I started to hear a voice in the back of my head. A voice telling me to just give up. Of course I chose to ignore that voice. With effort, I finally got to where I am now. But what worked for me may not work for everyone else. For instance, you all. Should have listened to that voice. After Looks all, like a little bit of a flash no forward here. No matter how hard you all trained, no matter how long it took, there is no way any of you could beat me. All right, I'm uh, I'm racing against the time here, so I don't think I'll do a lot of the voice acting. I'm gonna skip some parts of it and just read. Um, just because I gotta get ready for work in a little bit. So uh, I'm trying to do this in the morning um, because I have so little time, so little free time. Hey Especially Max, when I'm on my are own. Are you awake? We're leaving today, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's right. Today's the day that everything changes. All right. So I'll let the voice actors do their thing for a little bit, just so that like we can kind of get their voices in our heads. You know what I mean? We got we have a we have a good feel for how they speak and you know get an idea for the character. Uh, props, props again. Uh, like I mentioned in the title screen, you didn't use Mog Hunter's uh, you know overused magic circle, and then that little uh, your map display. I, I seen I think it was the wings and stuff like that. Like that's your own art. Um, great stuff to kind of keep the theme of Our Dying World and, and all the assets that are used in it. Um, great job there. I love seeing that stuff. 
Treasure box right off the bat. Hey, we got three stimulants. All right, so if we... Okay, um... I don't understand the point of the HUD in the bottom left-hand corner. Can I shut that off? Because while I haven't played this game in its entirety, I know for a fact that this is not like an ABS system, so I don't understand the point of the, the HUD there. Visual, can we shut this off? No. Controls, uh, general. We can shut off the quest window. We can shut off the compass. We don't seem to be able to shut off the HUD. Okay, that's fair, I guess. I'll deal with it. I like this little panning effect. Um, it reminds me of uh, some of the Tales games where they, you know, as soon as you first enter a town, you kind of do this panning effect and, and show the village or town that you're in. Uh, nice effect, I like that. Uh, I overslept by a minute, so what? It's been an hour. A minute, an hour, same thing. It's not that... <sighs> Never mind, I'm not going to argue. Anyway, I came to tell you that Emma wanted us to meet in the church. And Chief Isaac wanted to give you- Really? What did he want to give me? No clue. But it would be a good idea to go see him and then meet us in the church. After that, we can finally get moving. Alright. You just got your first quest. If you want to see your quest, press escape and look for- That text needs to move faster. Can I move that or change that too? Uh, look for the quest tab. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I just missed it. I'm an idiot. Let's turn that up. My bad, my bad. I wasn't looking for that particular word. <laughs> All right, so we got some herb and some gold. Nice mapping. This is, um, it's just, it's just, it's good. Like, I just, I like it. I don't like games with too much flash. Uh, a little bit of lighting here and there is cool. The only thing is, is that uh, these edges right here, when you have rounded edges and then you have squared off, um, Shadows, I, I, I don't know if it's a good idea to use them that way. Like, it, it, to me, it stands out, right? But the thing is, is like, I get it, because it's one of those things where do you really want to go through, erase every shadow from every single map, right? And that, well, maybe you don't have to do that. You can actually turn that off of the plugin. But, you know, let's just say get rid of all the shadows and then start doing, like, what, parallax mapping to handle every single edge? Um, eh probably not worth it so if you don't change that man i totally understand you're not gonna let me ah uh, tron just let me go in the shop bro uh what else we got here sarah meadows you wanted to okay. see me chief isaac right here. Hmm? oh max you finally came i'm so a couple of things here that are standing out to me one, my boy Max looked like he raided uh, Michael Jackson's closet and pulled out the uh, the coat that he wore in the Beat It video. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, the gold trim, the red coat, the shoulder pads. Um, I don't know, something something about Michael Jackson. It just, it just uh, Anyway, I don't mean to make fun of him. But anyway, a um, couple things here. I noticed that the art for the bus are different than what I saw on the title screen. So the art for the bus is all right, like, but I don't know. There's something that's kind of standing off about it because... When I look at the edges, this looks like it was scaled up using, like it looks like, it looks very, like it was probably natively, like it's very small. And then it was scaled up using some kind of like crap algorithm or maybe just scaled up using nearest neighbor. What I'm noticing is that the edges, you can see the pixelation on the edges of the, the bust art. And I think that those should be smoothed out a lot because it's not, it's not technically pixel art. This is supposed to look like high res art, right? Um, so I would, I, I don't know. I don't know if they were enlarged, but if they were, maybe you kind of go back and, and look at the algorithm that you were using and kind of just smooth that out a little bit, um, because that to me stands out. The other thing I don't like is this. What I'm noticing is that for your windows, it looks like you're using a custom image. I don't think you're using a custom, like, you know, standard window skin. I would say the frames are a little bit too large 
for it to be in there. I could be wrong though. Um, here's the thing, what's up with the black shadow, the black kind of uh, transparent box behind it? You have a rounded off corners for those, but then the transparent box in the back is like, it's, it's like squared off, right? So I understand the transparent box, obviously you wanna kinda have a little bit of a layer between your map and the text that's being shown, but why can't you just curl that off, like cut off the edges, the corners, and then you have something way smoother, right? Um, I would get rid of that transparent box in the background altogether and just keep it within the frame of your uh, of your UI. Um, if you're if you're having problems with that, maybe it's a plugin or some kind of coding issue. Please let me know, and uh, I'll I'll definitely take the time to help you out with that because uh, I don't know. It looks it looks weird. I don't know if anyone else has mentioned. Yes, that. that's right. I wanted to give you something before you take the adventure. Ah, here it is. This compass was mine when I was your age. It has helped me find my way many times over the years. Now, I'm hoping it'll do the same for you. Wow, thank you so much. Don't mention it. It was the least I could do. I can't stop you from going down this dangerous path. But I... Now then, I guess you should get going. Sorry, I was kind of talking in the middle of their dialogue there. Um, was this all just for a compass? Good luck, Max. I'll be rooting for you... Laser directed to objectives in the shops in the game. This is meant to help those who are easily lost. If you don't want to use the compass, you can toggle it on or off in the options menu. When can I toggle off the HUD? The compass is actually useful. I'll use that, but that HUD, that needs to go. Please be safe. Okay. Um. So that was interesting. I feel like you could have done more with that introduction. Like the village chief is like, okay, like, who are you? Um. I feel like that was kind of a waste of my time, to be honest. Um, just give me the compass and just say that it's a game mechanic and, you know, it doesn't have to be a, an item, per se. Um, or, at the very least, you can probably, I don't know, I'd like to hear a little bit of a background on the Village Chief or maybe something that's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's, there's, there's more to expand on there, in my opinion. I don't know enough about your game to really make a recommendation there, but I just felt like that was kind of a wasted opportunity. Nice mapping though. This is this is good. I like it. It's been all day on farm work. Just let me drink in peace. All right. Hey, there we go. What so one thing I've noticed. Oh, sorry. Never mind. So, what did you want to show us? Oh, this. A crystal? Not just any crystal, Riker. A waypoint crystal! Since our village was finally recognized as being big enough, the church has granted us one of these. Waypoint crystals allow someone to teleport to other waypoint crystals if they've already encountered them. If you find a decently populated area with a church, you're most likely going to find a waypoint crystal. So that means, once you finish taking the adventurer's test in Cliffwood, you can just use their crystal to come back here. I hope you give a reminder to do that, because telling me this this early in the game, and then I'd imagine I would have to go through a dungeon in order to get to where? Cliffwood? Uh, I would have to go through like a dungeon or a forest or something like that to get to Cliffwood. So obviously some, some, some time will pass, uh, battles, etc, etc. And then... I hope that you don't expect the player to just remember that there's waypoints just because you told them here. Um, here's the thing. It's, it's tough when it comes to tutorials and you start telling people that things exist as opposed to letting them experience what actually exists, right? And so what I'm noticing now is that we're getting into some wordy tutorials here and I see that you've baked them into kind of the character interaction. So I think that that's actually a good idea. I'm, I'm, I'm not critiquing that part. My problem is, is that I hope, like I said, that there's some reminders afterward because expecting people to just retain all this information, you're, you're not front loading me at this point, but I'd imagine that your battles are probably going to be similarly done in terms of like, you know, like wordy tutorials. So, you know, you're, at that point, you will be front loading the player and different people process information differently. So you want to kind of, you know, handle things in such a way where, you know, a subtle reminder here and there is not going to break the game. It's not going to be too jarring. Um, or you make your tutorials in such a way that, you know, you introduce the waypoints as soon as you can actually use it. You know what I mean? Like right now you're telling me about it, but if I click on that right now, if I analyze that crystal, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. And so the practicality of whatever it is that you're introducing to me, I don't get to experience that. And it becomes 
forgetful. Um, and that's just the reality. I'm not saying everyone's going to forget it, but it's going to happen. And there's a chance that you could frustrate some players because of that. So keep that in mind. So, is that all? So is that all? <laughs> yes, that's all. Riker's interesting to me. Does he have to be such a jerk? It seems like he's being a jerk for his own sake, or is he being like a comedic jerk? You know how he is about this stuff. He's wanted to be an adventurer for forever. Like, why are you mad, bro? Like, you're about to become an adventurer, right? You're about to go for the test. Why are you mad? Yeah, I... Well, if he wants to storm out, that just means he'll miss out on this. Actually, Emma should address that, you know? Hey, it's, well, obviously, you're voice acting now, right? So you can't just... It's not as simple for you as just to change a message box anymore, so... Sorry, man. I'm probably going to be recommending a lot of changes that you probably... It's just not worth doing, and I totally get What's that, this? so I won't take offense to it. It's a crafting book. I know yeah, I can't tutorial, fight, right? but I don't want to just sit here doing nothing. I've been practicing making potions, but I can't be with you all the time. So it'll be really helpful for you. I... Well, let's craft some things. That's obviously why you gave it to me. Uh, also, we got a couple of other items, right? So that's a weapon. And that's... Uh... Hey, there we go. Nice. Uh, let's... Let's craft some stuff. Definitely need some health potions. That's all I got. I would like to see... Because here's the thing. You have a treasure box in the beginning, right? Um, you have I, where I got three stimulants, and that's a great place to put that. I, I like it. But there's a, these things are missable, right? These things are totally missable. It's not like you're stopping the player and giving him stimulants like, say, you did with the compass, right? These things are missable. And so, yes, you've put it in an obvious spot, but it is quite possible for a lot of people to miss that. And so here's the thing. I would like to be able to craft a stimulant, right? Yes, I have four. But what if I missed those treasure chests that I got? And what if I didn't feel like exploring your town that much to get that extra stimulant that I got? Um, I'm without stimulants, and I'd imagine they're pretty expensive. I would I would let the player get, give the player a couple of starting items to craft at least one stimulant in case they miss this stuff. Stimulants are very important, like uh, life healing items, like things that revive you from uh, from death. Very very important for the beginning of the game because you need to give people. Um, a good margin of error when it comes to learning your battle system. And, you know, if you put them in a position where you're not giving enough, um, you know, revival items, um, they could get frustrated very, very quickly. And to the point where they just shut your game off. I, I hear it happen all the time. Um, so you have to be very, very careful with that. And, you know, often people will make the argument, it's just like, well, I put the stimulant in an obvious place. It's not my fault that you didn't get it. And did I? Don't do that. Like, just, just don't. There's, there's always an alternative. There's nothing wrong with holding the player's hand through the beginning of your game. Um, then let them go, right? Okay, so we crafted huh. some stuff. That wasn't too hard. Full flesh alchemist? Isn't it full fledged? Yeah. I don't know what a full flesh alchemist is, easy is. Once you get a crafting book of your own, be sure to look out for other books and shops too. The more things you learn how to craft, the better. So, are you sure you don't want to come with us, Emma? Yes, I've made up my mind. Alright, peace. That kind of life just isn't for me. She could have you said that while she was walking you, behind. Right? A little bit of a dead space there. Of course. It's just directly south. Right. I don't good luck. Okay, let's let's keep this going. We're gonna skip over some of the uh the dialogue a little bit and just read it. Yeah, so nothing there, right? So, are you ready? Yeah. Better to head out yeah. while we still have daylight. Daylight. All right, we got Riker. You can swap your party leader at any time by pressing the R key. Okay, so that would probably be the reason for having the HUD in the front or uh, the bottom left-hand corner. The thing is, is like, why would I be swapping party members? Like, are they? Do they have some kind of special ability, like on map abilities or something? Otherwise, what's the point? Also, toggle the actor HUD by pressing T on your keyboard. There we go. Bye bye. All right. Thanks, Tron. Appreciate that, man. Hey, Max, you should check out the shop here. I would, but the game wouldn't let me. So now I can go. Is that what you're? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, 
Oh, now it just gave me a potion. The thing I... The, the, the thing I like about this game a lot, actually, is you're rewarding exploration pretty much every step of the way. Um, everywhere I go, I find either a treasure chest, somebody's giving me an item, someone's giving me some uh, useful information. Um, you know, every part of the town has some kind of use. Even when I went back here, I got a weapon, right? Um, speaking of which, I don't know about hiding a weapon back here. Again, if somebody doesn't have that weapon, do they pay for that, you know, in the upcoming boss or something? Like, you know, I don't know. I think we might be relying too much on exploration here. I just got a new selection of crafting books from down south. I should pick one up. Didn't I just get one? Hold on. And synthesize. Did she take it back? I didn't even notice that she took it back. Just give me the goddamn book. What's what's the difference? So I gotta spend. How much? What's it, 100? Okay. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. I'm not too sure about that design choice, personally. Shouldn't they stay at an inn after a rough battle? I don't know how they do it, but when you stay at an inn, it feels like every injury you got just goes away. crafting stuff, which I cannot do because that girl took my book, or gave me a book and took it. What are you saying, buddy? Hmm. hmm. Something wrong? Ah, Max. You're just the person I wanted to talk to. Is that a placeholder on the right? Oh, really? Yes, really. You see, I'm having a bit of a problem. You see, I have all these crops here, but something's still missing. Mushrooms. Mushrooms? That's right. I've tried smoking all of these, but <laughs> nothing does it quite for me like mushrooms. All right, but. I'd like to get some for me. Uh, they grow all over the swampy area of the Zephrian, 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 woodland. Um, if you bring me back eight, I'll make it worth your, ah, uh, fresh quest. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Wait. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, there we go. All right. I knew I could count on you. Okay. So we got our first kind of side quest there. We'll collect some stuff. Okay, I, I think we're good to get out of here. Should be careful, Max. There's been a lot of giant hornets around recently. Pretty sure it's their breeding season or something. All right. Anything else? I already went there. I think we're all good. Let's get out of here. Start in village exit. Save point? This is a heart-to-heart -heart event. These are events where you can interact with party members and improve your relationship with them. While these are optional, it's a good idea to do them to keep your party happy and achieve the best outcome possible. Hey, Max. Before the adventurer's test, it might be a good idea to spar with each other as a warm-up. What do you think? Alright, tutorial battle coming up. At least you let us know. But here's the thing, if I don't do the tutorial battle, do I not gain favor with him? I hope that's not the case. Don't make me pay for not going through the tutorial. Sure. But you're going to lose. <laughs> we'll see about that. I think I can handle you. Hey, nice battle sprites. You got the tall ones. Good job, man. One of the first things you may have noticed is that there are turn order displays located at the top of the screen. These displays tell you which battle will be having their turn in which order from left to right. This battle music is a little loud. We'll just turn this down a little bit. Uh, the leftmost battler will be able to pick an action and act immediately. Next to Wrecker's name, there's an icon to the left of it. That is his current break shield count. Whenever you hit an enemy with an attack, they are weak to weakness display. Right now, at this point, I'm, I'm, t I'm just being straight up. People are already checking out of what you just said. From this point on, you've lost them, right? So here's how I recommend doing tutorials. And keep in mind, the only reason why I've, I'm, I'm, I feel so strongly about this is because I used to do the same thing in my game. And when I made the change, it was welcomed with a lot of positivity. So here's what I recommend here. You have a tutorial battle. I'd imagine Riker has a lot of HP. As you're introducing mechanics, don't just say, oh, there's a turn order. Oh, there's break shields. Oh, there's weakness display. Oh, there's this. Oh, there's that. Oh, there's boost points. Oh, there's that. You know what I mean? Like, don't do that. I would highly recommend breaking that up a little bit. So in one turn, you're introducing one mechanic and you can give the player a chance to actually explore that mechanic. Um, and then you maybe have something else happen where 
Um, for example, I've seen somebody do this before where they limit the selection of your skill so that you're only picking the one that's going to actually cause a weakness pop-up to come up. And so you're already teaching the player through actions that they can be weak to something, right? Now, I'm not saying that you have to completely hold the player's hand throughout every single tutorial that you ever make. However, it does, it, I would say it's much to your benefit to actually break it up instead of just bombarding them with a wall of text, which is what you're doing right now. And this is probably gonna keep on going for every mechanic, right? Breaking an enemy shield will stun and leave them vulnerable for one turn. Like, see, you don't need to explain that. Um, you know, maybe you have Riker or maybe give I don't know, give Max an item that lowers their shield, or maybe start Riker off with like a shield of one, and then give Max an ability that breaks that shield, and then we can see it happen in real time. And that way you're kind of getting the player in the habit of using the mechanics of your system, as opposed to just being told them and expecting them to use it and remember everything that you just told them after the tutorial's done. Okay. I'm glad that you didn't keep going there. So we have, so obviously this is a weapon switch mechanic. Uh, what kind of weakness do you have, Riker? What's going on here? Alright, you're weak to Axis. Let's assume Riker was more of a threat, and you really needed to break his shield in one turn to survive. That's where boosts come in handy. If you look at your status window, you may have noticed there are small icons that look like da 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 da, -da next to the word boost. Those are boost points. For each icon there is, that is a boost point that you can use. Use them, press W or page down on the keyboard. Up to three times BP can be used at any given time. Okay, to use boost points on the controller one at a time, hold down the left analog stick while boosting. Okay. Then select attack and see what happens. Also, if anyone used BP on their previous turn, they won't regenerate any BP for this turn. Okay. One more thing. Wrecker isn't weak to sword, so hopefully you brought an axe. You can swap which weapon you're using by pressing... So, when you say hopefully I brought an axe, you didn't give me enough money to buy anything, and I had to actually explore the, the, the village in order to get that axe. I don't know how I feel about that, because you're now explaining a mechanic to me that I can't even take advantage of, right? By, by this point, I wouldn't have had an axe if I didn't go to that treasure chest. So, again, this is what I'm talking about, right? Whenever you introduce something to the player, you want to give them a, a way to, to, to actually use the mechanic that you're talking about. I think that's very, very important. If a party member doesn't have a second weapon equipped, they won't swap weapons. Fair enough. Okay, well, let's just attack with this. Shield slam. All right. I'm asleep. BP can be used with certain skills as well. Some skills do more damage uh, when more BP are used with them. Other effects include longer durations for status effects. Okay? However, divine skills require to use three times BP before you can use them. You can think of them as ultimate moves. Okay, I see what you've done there. Not bad. Oh, 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 oh wait, wait, wait. Alright, so strong attack with an axe. But then we also have boost points, so let's use a couple of those. We have our axe equipped, and we're going to do a strong attack. Should do a lot of damage. There we go. Oh my god, Command Remember. I thought it was going to start at the top of the list. That's annoying. Um, okay. Alright, he's broken his shield. Uh, let's finish him off. Wait. What's, what's happening right now? <laughs> Uh, I want to attack him and finish him off, but if I miss and die, I'm not going to take that chance. Nice. See? That could have happened to me when I attacked him, and then I would have been dead. Oh, that command remember. That's, that's going to kill me. i got to turn that off. Okay, you're done, right? One piece. Well, that was kind of annoying. I have so much HP that when you have, like, one left, it doesn't show any bars. <sighs> That's not your fault, Sean. I'm not complaining about that. You hit it pretty happens. hard. You must have been practicing when I wasn't looking. Or maybe I was always the more talented one. Or maybe record just Unlikely, sucks. but good job. Let's keep... Alright, so we got a slightly increase. In parts of this game, you are given a choice where you can influence how people feel about you or others around them. Even minor choices can have a major impact later, so it would be wise to think closely on each decision. Hurting a relationship enough could even lead to a death. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, command remember. Let's turn that off. Yes, thank you. All right. 
Okay, so we got a bee seemingly protecting a treasure. He's not moving at all. I'm sure he's gonna chase after me though. Yeah. All right. We got our first regular battle. Let's do this. Uh, let's reveal some weaknesses. Let's see what we got. Oh, weak to axes. Great. Um, do I want to wait? Yeah, let's experiment. Sorry, I was trying to decide whether or not to, re to do another reveal weakness or um, actually uh, just try and explore. What was that? Okay, so I didn't know that they would get extra attacks for using boost. But then I also noticed that he swung twice and then turned the other way and swung and still hit them. I don't know if that's a bug or not, Tron. I want to look into that. Getting stronger. Small exposure 50 bucks. Uh, what does that leave me with? 105? I'm going to go back and... Uh, Get that uh, crafting book. I feel like I'm going to need that for this trip. Since what's her name took it away from me. <laughs> I'm just thinking of... Uh... Y'all hear that sound? D7 hates that sound. He played this and I never watched his playthrough. But I know he probably has something about it. Not the knack knack. Y'all put the knock knock in your game. Y'all know I hate that knock knock. <laughs> That's my D7 impression, just saying. All right, um, let's get this. Boom, we're all right. Probably, with that purchase, craft some stuff. Okay. Uh, wait, that's not what I want. We want synthesis. Yeah, we can craft some stuff. All right, I'm gonna hang on to my stuff for now. Just in case, I'm gonna craft it as I need it. See, the mapping here is just, it's good. I just, I like it. You know one little trick? This little uh, batch of uh, uh, forest here, these trees, if you were to take where the leaves are right now, like the leaves on top, like kind of like the canopy, um, and put another layer on top so it looks like the trees aren't just flat, you know what I mean? Um, you'd be surprised how much that could uh, kind of expand your maps a little bit. Oh, wait, you're using MV. Uh, I don't know if you can do that, because this is probably an auto tile, right? Yeah, I don't know if you can do that. Well, in MZ, you can. You can actually take auto tiles and kind of use them on the first two layers. And uh, yeah, it really comes in handy. I love that. Don't expect me to go easy on you. Uh, let's just go with attack first. And uh, we'll probably take him out in another go. If I use Riker's special attack. Oh, that's the tough thing about these uh, these kind of break mechanics is that um, sometimes you're killing them too quickly before you can even kind of take advantage of that. <laughs> that was simple enough. And you didn't go too overboard with the particle effects and the leaves and stuff like that. It's just subtle, you know? The lighting's nice. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I like it. You got a nice uh, variation. You use like, uh, you didn't just stick with the water. I see there's a little bit of kind of grass, you know, kind of sprouting out of it. Uh, you know, the pathway, the walkway here, you kind of have it layered up with some cobblestone and, you know, then some dirt surrounded by grass, taller grass. All great stuff. This is this is a good map. I, I like I like where Tron is going with this. Let's find out who's stronger. 
uh, I suppose we can just kind of do the same thing. Do we want to reveal another weakness? Well, we don't have that many attacks anyway, and we know that he's not weak to Earth, so at this point it'd be kind of pointless. But, uh, yeah, let's keep the axe going and uh, just attack since they're weak. Wait. Did I switch my weapon? What happened there? I must have switched accidentally. Uh, let's go with strong attack. That should take you out. Still in one piece. Seems I've improved a bit. And we got to level up. All right. All right. I've noticed that there is not a world map and you have waypoints. This is this is cool. Like, this is kind of like the world map. It's connecting a lot of different places. So, uh, I like the way that you've done this. Okay, so we had that fetch quest, right? For the mushrooms. But, that's a bat. And, well, I have leveled up. But, it seems like that bat's going to be kind of strong. But we have stimulants. Because we're alright. Hold on. First things first. That's our HP at. Just so we don't get any surprises. All right, bring it on. Don't expect me to go easy on you. Okay, so they're not faster than me. That's good. Let's reveal some weaknesses. See what's going on. Sword. All right. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. And I can't imagine they'd be weak to Earth because they're flying. Um. Uh, screw it. Let's try it anyway. Why not? Okay, we're not necessarily resistant to it, so that's not bad. Um, I think we're going to work with the sword for now. And maybe boost a little bit. And... I don't want to take any chances in case they have any special skills. Let's see if we can take them out in one go. Boom. Let's do it. Nice. So we don't need to do that again. Sword. Let's do a strong attack. And let's get another attack in. And then we should be able to finish him off. Alright. It's not that difficult. Still in one piece. The training is paying off. Nice. Definitely need some health potions, that's for damn sure. And let's get another... Wait, doesn't any gerb use anything? No. Okay, so just that. Okay, let's get one of those. But I do need an empty vial. Crap. I forgot about that. Alright, uh, hopefully we find some and some treasure chests. Because there are a ton around here, I'm sure. Uh, that's a little annoying. I think he should let me pass through there. Hi. Ah, more humans trying to solve my puzzle, huh? No. Fine, I'll give you a hint. If a secret is what you want to find, just follow the news, okay? Uh, take care and farewell. What? Yeah, just give me the stone. I don't really care about what you just said. If you say follow the news, I'm assuming it's north, east, uh, west, and south, but... Uh, like, I don't know how that applies. Ooh, stuck right behind you. Anybody home? Oh, but I will definitely take your stuff. Let's not go too far, because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be going south. So let's just stick to the mushrooms, so that when we go back to the village, or get to uh, Cliffwood, we can use that waypoint, go back to the village, and uh, touch base with my guy, and uh, get whatever it is that he wants to reward us with. We're getting all the mushrooms. And 
we out. Okay, let's get this moving. Uh, I kind of want to avoid battles at this point. Again, time, guys. Timing is, timing is rough. So many treasures. So many. And I love it. It's great. You know, it's funny, I always go to magic first, like, just, again, guys, like, I've been playing nothing but my own game for, like, the better part, like, for months and months and months now, so, you know, it's, it's gonna be hard to break myself out of certain habits. Uh, in my game, you kind of, you want to be encouraged to use skills all the time because it's, um, you know, the, the resource is very easily repl replenishable, so I always kind of scroll down to go to the, uh, the next skill instead of just attacking all the time. We don't have any healing magic, do we? Just items. Okay, so I gotta be kind of careful with that then. Um, yeah, I don't want to get too crazy with the... Uh... Don't want to get too crazy with, uh, you know, kind of not caring about my HP. Seems like I was stronger. I kind of want to go there, but I kind of don't, because I know I have to go down here. Let's just, uh... More stuff? There's tre treasure boxes everywhere! Uh, that was a little odd. Might want to fix that. Something having to, having to do with the, the fade event there. Small bug, nothing crazy. You're just standing in that corner very, very ominously. I feel like you have something important to say. How do I get to you? I have to go behind the church. Oh, hello. Welcome to Clifford Church, my child. Feel free to use your waypoint crystals upstairs. There's the reminder. So, um, yeah, I mean, what if I don't go to the church or what if I don't, uh, speak to the, speak to the lady? Like, you know, again, um, uh, maybe when he's entering the town, um, you know, he can mention something about the waypoints or something like that. I don't know. I just feel like people, people might forget about that. I could be wrong though. Like, I mean, it could be something that nobody complained about at all. So disregard, disregard. I'm just being overly cautious, man. This is what it's all about, right? Giving as much feedback as possible and giving an idea of what may be important what may not be uh hey thanks max i knew you could do it while i go inhale these take this and buy yourself something nice you're into champ all right do we have a weapon shop anywhere is that it no that's the village oh we probably have a weapon shop back in uh cliffwood okay so let's go to There's nothing about this that indicates that it's a church. Uh, maybe that little thing. Well, it's hard. To, it's kind of hard to see that when you're going in. I would have that lower if that's kind of like the cross that's supposed to be serve as some kind of indicator for a church, um, or if it's just some kind of decoration that has nothing to do with the church. Either way, I feel like you should have some kind of indicator there. Not want to do that. Uh, what? 
I totally thought that was going to a different spot. Um, I was trying to... I, I thought that there was like a back door or something like that. The basement, then back door? Nope, treasure chest. Okay. Okay, anyway. Time, time, time. Let's focus on what matters. we got to get to the first boss, and I feel like we're not even close. There's a lot going on here, and uh, I'm probably just going to do it the first boss. Well, hopefully. Uh, I may even have to, like, pause uh, or kind of, like, suspend this for a little bit and resume later. What time is it right now? Uh, I still have some time. We're, we're all right. We're all right. Okay, and there's the weapon shop. And what are we buying? What are we buying? We barely have any cash. So, manhood, no shield. Uh, I didn't actually... Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Crap. Crap. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I wasn't equipping anything at all. Like, I was just picking up stuff and going. Uh, let's see what we got. You, sir, need... Oh, well, that square shield came in handy, so there's that. Um, optimize. Optimize, please. If you... There are ways around it. I understand that optimize... People, they take it out because it's just like, well, optimizes everything, and not everything needs to be optimized. There's ways uh, to remove certain things from the optimization and, and, you know, the equipment slots that it's trying to, I guess, optimize. Um, I, I don't know why you took that out, but I think it belongs here. Uh, can we talk about the UI for a little bit, now that I realize that I have some time? So here's the thing. Um, let me first let you know that I have already taken into consideration the fact that UI stuff is very, very hard to modify, and I understand that there isn't, there aren't a lot of options out there in terms of, you know, being able to modify it. So here's the thing. This is not a rant against Tron's UI. It's more of kind of a, well, not even a rant. It's just a, uh, more of kind of a point that I want to make about RPG Maker devs in general. We have the tendency to completely disregard the UI. And, you know, it, it shows. It shows, right? Like, the community doesn't tend to care much about it. Um, for me, it was a little different because recently I, recently I switched careers and uh, I'm working at a job now where there is actually a team of UI UX designers. And working with them, basically what I do is I report to them to say, hey, um, you know, I'm designing this for you. Like, you know, did you like the design? What would you change about it? Uh, does this work? And so they gave me the feedback and then I make the necessary changes. And sometimes they'll have complete layouts for me to basically kind of work on for them and, and execute. And so I, I have a very, very uh, high appreciation for anyone who's in UI UX design because there are so much that goes into it. And the fact that we are just kind of neglecting that as a whole in RPG Maker, again, it's understandable, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't treat it with a certain level of, kind of, with a certain priority, right? Um, and so when I look at this menu, I see that there's the menu thing, the, the menu kind of command names in the top left-hand corner, you have playtime in the top right, you have location in the top, or, uh, bottom right, and gold in the bottom left. That is not a good layout. You don't want to have things in the top, you know, in the corners of the screen. Ideally, you want information that can be processed quickly and at a glance. That's why typically, when you look at this stuff, you'll see those four corners and the information displayed to them, typically you'll see them next to each other in like a row or something like that, or in a cluster, not in, not in four different places. So I know that you're using Mod Hunter's plugin right now, and so you're probably limited in terms of your options, but that's just to say that just because the plugin looks nice doesn't mean that the functionality is good, right? And I think that this is an example of that. The other thing is that when we come to the UI stuff, we're looking at this stuff and we're, you know, it's horizontal command menu. But then when we go into, say, equipment, we're, we're lined vertically and the layout has completely changed. I know that the main menu is the main menu and it doesn't necessarily have to match every other scene um, in, your, in your menu, but having a little bit of similarity is, is, it comes a long way, right? Because you want the player to kind of just naturally kind of go through, right? Um, your, your menu design. So it can be at times a little jarring for anyone who isn't playing RPG Maker or isn't familiar with RPG Maker. It can be a little jarring to go from this and all of a sudden it's just like, okay, so we have horizontal and then we're going right into like, it just looks completely different, right? Um, even your HP bars, your MP bars, right? Like we go into here and it looks completely different. We're right back to the default RPG Maker, right? So I would recommend even doing little subtle things like your HP bars here, there are plenty of plugins to change those. If you want me to share them, let me know. I will fetch them for you, no problem. 
Um, but you can change the images of those. Now, the only thing I don't think you can do is animate them like Mog Hunter has. But the HP bars that you have here, it's actually not that difficult to make them match the HP bars that you have in your screen here. And I think it's very important to kind of keep that consistency going, right? It's something that a lot of RPG Maker devs tend to just neglect. And uh, we should probably stop doing that, especially, especially if you're going commercial. If you're going commercial, these are things that you really need to pay attention to because people will notice. And uh, there's, even for the people who don't really care about UI stuff, it still stands out, like subconsciously, it stands out to them. And all of that, you know, when you look at the sum of the parts of things that we neglect in the UI, it's, it, it could lead to something that's a bigger deal than what you might think it'd be. Do you know what I mean? Like, hopefully that makes sense. Sorry guys, I'm kind of rambling at this point, but um, let's pay more attention to the UI is basically what I'm trying to say. I have not saved yet, have I? Good Lord. Oh, we got some auto saves though. Good on you, Tron. But they're empty. Why are they empty? I should have had at least one auto save at this point. Um, I would turn that option on by default. Is that, because I think I've seen it in the options somewhere that there's a game save, right? Or save, auto save options. Save on map change and enable auto save. Um, I will enable auto save, but I really think that that should be on by default. Maybe you have a good reason for disabling it, but. Anyway, that's my rant on UI stuff. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Let's get this, uh, let's get this show on the road. Adventures Guild, but it's also an inn. And a bar, but nothing about the Adventures Guild. Maybe you have something right up the middle here, right in the middle of the house, in line with the uh, the inn and bar signs. Uh, the Adventures Guild seems like it's a pretty big deal. Um, inns are, and bars are very common. I'd imagine the Adventures Guild is not. Um, you know, having it front and center, why not? But I think it needs another, I mean, thank God for the way or the, uh, the compass, right? Um, there's no other indicator that lets me know that there's an Adventurer's Guild in here. And obviously this is the person I'm supposed to talk to. You're here to take Adventures, or sorry, I skipped right through that. Great, the test doesn't officially start until a little while from now. Please take a seat and sit tight until then. That's strange. Only one other person is here to take the test? Looks like it. Isn't this test kind of nerve-wracking? I mean, not that I'm afraid of failing or anything. I know, you know I'll pass. Damn this well, thing. you're scared as hell. Uh, what about you? Oh, I'm Max, by the way, and this is Riker. Max, stop talking. Please don't involve me in bothering this man. Ashton. Huh? There we go. Ashton. That's my name. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Oh, it's only you three. Ahem. Now, I shouldn't have to tell you the benefits of joining us, but I will anyway. Okay, it's I get it. the policy of here it's at policy the Adventurers, here, Adventurers Guild, Guild. you can S-rank adventurers, adventurers making, along with making an absurd amount of money. If money isn't your thing, we all, above all else, our quest. Now then, to start, please, this will show us your end. With this, we can assign you a rank. Our Gotcha. Come on and step right up to find out your rank in NPR. Max is going to have a crap ranking, oh, we know that. I forgot and to mention, guy in the middle, is all mysterious, he's probably going to have an low, awesome ranking. You will be denied any Riker, rank, since it seems too dangerous for you to take on a quest. So, who's for... Bueller? Oh, come on. No Bueller? one is willing... Bueller? Uh, guess I'll be first. That's all right. the spirit. Uh, go up there and show us how horrible you Your are. Your NPR is trash. Seventy-three. Oh, is that good. I'm sorry, but you didn't huh. qualify. What? This has to be some kind of mistake. Uh, I was sure I would make it. I'm sorry, but the crystal ball is never wrong, and you need to have an NPR of at least oh, eighty. Oh come to on, an it's a couple of points. So I'm afraid. Can he try again? Huh? Let him try again. But this time, he'll use his left hand. Uh, so, he should step forward a little bit. Like, kind of rise to speak, sort of. Because it just showed him kind of approaching and almost kind of interjecting there. Um, the sprite itself should also kind of move up a little bit. Maybe approach um, approach the two of them. Instead of just having him sit there. I don't see why not. But simply changing what hand he uses won't change the results. <sighs> 
Go Bet ahead. you it will. Just like before, your MPR is 173. This is unprecedented. Your MPR increased. I apologize for earlier. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so I qualify now, right? Customer's well, always right. Well, you did qualify now with this MPR. It's still relatively low, so you're in the middle of E rank. Lowest Oof. rank. That's right. But I bet if you keep training, you'll be all right. Thanks for the motivation Next. there, sweetheart. Guess I'll go. Your MP 376. This puts you near the top. Only that's higher than. Good luck, mister. 376 is a pretty. Tell me. What MPR? Oh, well, people with S rank are. Oh, of course, he's going to be the rare one, three... right? Only three people ever. Like I said, it's incredibly hard. You need an MPR of at least eight thousand. <sighs> so we're not even close. Unfortunately. An MPR of eight thousand. All right. Let's see. Your MPR is six thousand. One thousand oh. two hundred eighty-four. Congratulations. That's the highest anyone has ever gotten at this guild hall. With that MPR, you have already reached A rank. Well then. Wait, just who is this guy? 1,284. I see. This is... Disappointing? Really disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't say that. That MPR is still incredible. Many people... Is no one happy with their ranking? Nope. So, that was the test? <laughs> Technically, no. That was only so. What is your then? test? Clear a to fully become an adventurer, you have to clear. Please meet me at Stonemont Mountain. Before you head over there, it might be a good idea to stop and. Man, this voice acting is there. ambitious, Tron. Props to you for taking the plunge, man, because you're doing a lot of work and you're. It's. It is really hard to. I mean, I don't know who your voice actors are. Um, I mean, if you're paying them or or not. Um, but man, to have to rely on other people to make even the slightest change, um, that's a lot of work. It's not easy to just open, you know, pull up a mic, get, get in contact with somebody, have them pull up a mic when they're free, and then start voice acting and making sure that the audio is right and that the emotions are right. And you know what I mean? Like, it's that, that's a, that's hard work, man. Props to you. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it unless Excuse I was like with a team that was like on a salary acting. or something. I just, I wouldn't trust them. I wouldn't trust them to stick with it for, for the whole entire game. Couldn't do it. So I would, I would have to, if I were to take this approach, it would have to be kind of like, um, uh, like very, very small cutscenes where they speak and then you just kind of end it there. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, it, it, just to kind of give an idea of how they speak and what their emotions are. And, you know, you can kind of memorize that voice throughout as you're reading the text yourself, but I couldn't do the fully voice acted cutscenes, man. This okay, is huge. Then Ashton, um, Props to you. Why did you ask her if I could take the... An NPR of 73, just... Well, thanks, bud. What a strange man. We should watch ourselves around him. What do you mean? He seems nice. He may yeah. seem nice, but I can tell. Or Riker, maybe you're just <laughs> you're just a miserable little guy, man, and you're just skeptical of everyone and everything. He's one of those huff and puff type of guys. Oh, empty vials are cheap. And herbs are cheap. Uh, how many empty vials do I have? Do I have, like, a quantity here? Oh, none. Okay, uh, let's buy a couple of those, just in case. So we have five empty vials and five herbs. Um, that at least gives us a couple of mana potions. Just in case we need to craft some on our journey. So we still haven't fought the boss yet. Um, I really want to explore, but uh, time. I just can't... Uh... Uh, I can't... Uh... I don't have enough time. I just don't. Uh, we are supposed to go to... Stonemont Mountain.
So, so far I'm enjoying this. This game is good. I like it a lot. Um, I can see why it's getting the praise that it is. Um, I'm going to talk about the battle system in a little bit here. I haven't really made too many comments on that. I was kind of reserving it for the boss, but um, maybe I'll do it a little bit before that. back. Tron, I don't have time to explore, but you're making me want to, man. Making me want to explore. This is a good thing, by the way. I don't mean to make it sound like I'm complaining. Iron Shield, alright. Worthwhile, anyway. Two percent decrease, ain't nothing. Not worried about it. Is there anything else that I'm missing here? In terms of equipment or what? No? Okay. Oof, we're cutting her close. We're cutting her close. Oh, stop exploring. Okay, Tron, I'm sorry, man. I know that you got treasure chests probably everyone. laid out for me, the and Stone it's all Lord good. And I'm probably going to miss out on some of them, and maybe I'm going to pay for it later, but I, I got to get this rolling, so. To pass the of course, there will be after this. Is this a test? We well, then I'll do the. Now, let's do this together, Hold on. dude. We were all given. Nice. <laughs> Cool. All right. Okay. Again, great mapping. Like, it's just subtle. Like, it's just, it's good. It's just good all around. Like, you know, you didn't go too crazy with the lighting and stuff like that. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's good stuff, man. Good stuff. This mapping is very solid to me. Let's find out who's all right. strong. We got signs. Uh, okay, so we got a healer. And what else do we have? Please one now is magic defense for three turns. Okay. I haven't really seen much magic being casted. I'd imagine this is probably useful for the boss coming up. And no other weapons. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, he's weak. Sweet. Uh, let's reveal another weakness. Ice. I don't think anybody has an ice spell, so that's kind of useless. Weak to Earth at all? Sweet. And what would they be weak to in terms of weapons? Maybe an axe? Ooh. Ah, screw it. Let's just take him out. He should be dead after this. Ugh. Oh, God damn it. These animations are dope. Like, your your little sprite battlers there, that praying animation, I don't think I've seen that as part of, like, the standard... Um, the standard kind of RTP animation stuff. Good stuff. Let's go back to the sword and see if that works. The axe is not weak to. Is he weak to the sword? Yes, he is. All right. All right. Yeah, I kind of see that coming. This is what the stimulus is for. Uh, wait until after that. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, that didn't do much. Should take you out. Yet another victory. Just how strong can I get? Way. 
Uh, right, we already fought these guys earlier. Uh, let's go with some light hours. See if you're weak to light. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Uh, if you are weak to swords. And we'll put a strong attack on this guy. Even the poses and stuff. Man, great job with the sprites. Great job. This is what I'm talking about, man. Like, I like seeing that kind of stuff. Little customizations and even the characters running and stuff. All that stuff goes such a long... Wait, why am I going back? Come on, Neil. Uh, all that stuff goes such a long way in, uh, in presenting a, a really solid game. Ooh. Ah, I think I can handle you. Something tells me I better be careful with this. Um... Let's guard first. Okay, so quite a bit of HP. Mimic seems to be chilling right now. Nope, I'll wait for that. Alright. Oh my gosh, dude, that barely made a dent. Ugh, we're gonna be here for a while. Low, low, low damage. Uh, Riker seems to be at full boost, so we're gonna use that on his next turn so we can push this guy off. That was worth it. Off. Seems I've improved a bit. So it looks like I am supposed to go this way. All right. Um, while I'm wandering. 
Let's talk about the battle system a little bit. So, I, I'd be lying if I didn't think, or if I didn't say that, uh, I think you're leaning too heavily into the boost system, the, uh, sorry, the boost mechanic. I feel like it's, it's going to create the perception that your battle system is very unbalanced. Um, and that, that, that might be a problem, right? So I get that the boost mechanic is something that you've kind of relied upon as, hey, you need to use the boost mechanics. But, you know, between the tutorials and, um, you know, having to press another button as kind of like a, like, you know, like an instant turn kind of mechanic, it's not something that a lot of people are used to. And so you're probably going to end up getting a lot of people who are going to forget constantly that boost is even a thing. Um, you know, I've already seen it happen when, in Drifty's playthrough. Now, this was like last year. But, um, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's it's not it's, it's not too crazy for people to forget that. So what I'd recommend is this, is because I undoubtedly, I know that you're going to go through this. And so you're probably going to want to think at some point, it's just like, man, I got to figure out a way to get people to, to really start, um, you know, really relying on the boost mechanic. If... There's a couple of ways that you can go about this. One, maybe you have like a little battle log message that pops up. Right, just a little battle log message that pops up, you know, at the beginning of every certain amount of turns or something like that. And if people get annoyed by it, maybe you have a switch uh, setting in the options menu that allows you to just shut that off, right? Because uh, by that point, they'll be annoyed, but they'll also probably be in the good habit of using the boost mechanic, right? Um, otherwise, people will learn to appreciate it. Yeah, it might serve as an annoying message that pops up, you know, uh, semi-frequently, uh, but it'll be something where it's just like, oh yeah, boost. You know what I mean? Or you can have it where... Maybe if they hit a certain amount of boost points, like three boost points, um, maybe there's like a little character animation or a little, um, you know, like a subtle character animation where, I don't know, it indicates that they're a little bit more powerful. Well, no, you can't do that. That's not going to work. That's a bad idea. Uh, I, I don't know. I'll have to think about it a little bit more. But I feel like there's something more that should be done. That's, that's basically my point. Um, as far as the battle balancing, it's tough to say because it's like, Having five boost points and then having damage go from, say, 200 to, like, 1,500 or 1,000, um, you would have to make your enemies have a lot of HP to account for that variation, right? And so you wouldn't want it to make it so that, you know, abusing the boost points allows you to defeat enemies too easily. Um, and so obviously you have to give them a lot of HP to account for that. But it's just like, I, I have a, like, I worry that, you know, like that mimic... There was a lot of HP there, and I know that it was a special kind of enemy, but, you know, it's, it, it's, it's tough to look at it and say, yeah, the balancing isn't, like, I feel like the balancing is causing the battles to be drawn out a little bit because you're relying so heavily on the boost mechanic. Do you know what I mean, if that makes sense? Um, this doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. The reason why I'm saying this is because while I don't really think that you need to change anything in terms of your, uh, you know, battle mechanics, Maybe this is something that is kind of, maybe I'm like unknowingly piggybacking off of another piece of feedback that you got. And you're like, hey, if somebody else says this, then maybe I'll change it. And so maybe it's something that I said, I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to mention that. So again, I like the battle system, um, but yeah, I just find the boost mechanic, it has, it, it sways things a little bit too much. I think it should be a little bit more subtle. That's, that's my main thing. Also, also, I don't like the fact that we're dealing with multiple groups of enemies and we don't have a single AOE attack. Not a single one. Uh, we're gonna have to keep on attacking these enemies one by one. Um, that we should have at least one. Ashton, I think, should have like a holy attack that um, does quite a bit of damage, so. All right, you're paralyzed. Let's see if we can move on to someone else for a second. Really take care. Anybody need healing? No? We're good. I think I can handle you. 
Um, sorry guys, I don't have time for this right now. Okay, we got a spear. Who's that for? Nice. Uh, do we want Riker to be faster? Yeah. I think it's usually Max that uh, gets the first turn. Go away, go away, go away. Jin said I was supposed to go here. <laughs> but at least you're not making me pay for taking a different path. Good stuff. This is probably one of the funnest games, the most rewarding games when it comes to exploration. You are not making me pay for exploration at all. There's a lot of times where I find I'm playing games and you're reaching a spot and there's a dead end or... Um, you know, it's just, you end up going into more enemies or something like that. Um, hold on. What's your defense? Yeah, okay, let's put that to max. See ya. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I'm so good at dodging these guys. All right, so I'd imagine boss time is coming up soon. Uh, you're not going to give me a chance to go after the boss, are you? Because when I open the box, it keeps me there. Uh, I'll probably just end up fighting him. There we go. It's at top of the mountain, right? So we're going to be outside soon, I'd imagine. Oh my gosh. Close calls all around, guys. Close calls all around. Guardsman helmet, nice. Uh, who might that be for? You don't even have a helmet, so let's hook you up. Yeah. Treasure chest. Okay, let's let's fight a battle. I've been avoiding quite a bit. I don't think I've even fought the spiders yet, so. Um Reveal? Not that he has it, but I think I should reveal first. Oh, they're weak to that. Very nice. Uh, let's reveal another one. Just play it safe. Yeah. See, the thing I'm not understanding is, is that, I mean, obviously these enemies are weak, right? And so, are we ever going to get to a point where, I mean, maybe you have a crossbow in a treasure box somewhere? I don't understand giving these enemies weaknesses that nobody can take advantage of. It seems kind of pointless, no? I feel like I'm wasting a turn. Yeah, no, it's cool. it's just... yeah. Okay, so weak to light and spears. There we go. 
Yeah, see that right there? That that damage jump, you know, when you factor in the boost and the weakness, um, it is very rewarding, I'm not gonna lie, but again, I can see a lot of people having issues with balancing. Why is that thing popping up? The icon. Can't be, but you can. A little bit of a bug there. Even I can get stronger. All right, so there's some light there. Uh, I just want to make sure that we are good in terms of health. And oh wait, wait! Before I use these, are you gonna give me like a healing spring or some kind of thing? Stimulant, nice. Man, tons of treasure boxes. Tons. I mean, I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. Oh, shoot, I should have saved. Way to the top Wait, but I turned on auto save, right? So I should yeah, be okay. All we have to do is. Well, oh, regardless, if I um, lose, I'm, I'm cutting hey, this off Ashton. anyway. While you two were here to complete the adventurer's test, I was here for a different goal. Okay. You see, a long time ago, this pl normally, a golem is created by using Earth and its purpose, but okay. certain fallen angels wanted to tweak that a bit. They wanted to make one of the fallen angels that worked on it was a genius. He was said to have died where they successfully created not only that, but he was buried where he died. And along with his body, one of his best inventions was buried alongside him. A dagger that can remove any curse mark. The place that man died was right here. And I'm after that dagger. So you only okay. participated in the test to get- That's right. So why do you need a dagger to remove- Well, you see- <laughs> Of course. Before we reveal the main reason you're here- I guess this was set up in case anyone tried to mess with the grave. Maybe I should have thought this out more. <laughs> All right, well, uh, time to run. Uh, we're running? Our chances of beating this thing are low, and it's likely not going to leave the grave site. It's best if we just leave. Okay. Never mind then. I guess it can't be helped. Oh, I see what happened there. I fought against Stronger. Those wings? That little, that little uh, cutscene there. I'm, I'm not too sure if people are gonna always like all grasp what happened there. Um, maybe they should make another mention of like, how did he do that? Or looks like he's wants us to stay or something like that. Something that kind of like adds to that. Um, just a little thing that kind of rises behind them. It's not actually showing it rising behind them. So it may just look like you know, part of the scene type of thing that may have already been there before the golem even showed up. Um, maybe you could add a little something to that. He could possibly be. There's no time to be surprised. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, so first things first, we don't have any buffs for this guy. Um, let's guard and wait for a second. Let's see what's going on here. The reason why I think it's safe to guard is because you know, with the balancing, I feel like just making a simple attack that he may or may not be weak to, you can make up that ground fairly easily if you just plan your strategy right. So, uh, to me, guarding seems like the right choice. I imagine this guy's a ton of HP. Uh, that is... Uh, armor plus armor. I mean, it is weak, so let's uh, give it a shot. Oh, three turns. Three turns. Not good. Not good. Okay, that wasn't too much damage, though. Well, of course, he's guarding so. Uh, What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? He has three turns, and that magical spell. Uh, his defense for three turns. I'll do it. Why not? Oh, wait. It's one ally. I thought it was everybody. Damn it. Oh, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, it's TP, so it'll come back, right? That's the only skill that he has. And I can't remember who has the lowest magic defense. I'm gonna say it's Max. Well, why not? Maybe I'm wrong, but... 
give you a little buff there, and I feel like we should reveal another weakness since we have a little bit of leeway here. Or we can just attack and figure it out ourselves. I'm gonna go with the axe, see what's going on here. There we go. Luck of the draw. Uh, let's go with a double boost, and uh, let's hit him hard. Nice. So here come the three turns. Uh, he has a buff. Uh, that's annoying. So I can't do anything to get rid of the buff. And that's an actual, like, like a buff buff. So that probably stacks. If he does another defense up, our physical attacks are pretty much useless. And we don't have a lot of other types of attacks. We have a holy magic attack, a tremor, and then the rest, everything else is pretty much physical in terms of attacks. Not too sure I'm a fan of that. If he double buffs, I'm not going to be happy. I think that he should only buff once. Um, and leave it at that. Um, because all you're doing is just prolonging things, realistically. So let's take a wait-and-see approach there. And I think we have enough of a cushion in HP to... Just attack for now. Are you weak to Earth? Probably not. Yeah, no. So you're not even weak to that. So Ashton, you're going to save up your boost points, and then we're going to hit him hard with uh, your arrows there. Everyone else is just going to have to wait for the defense buff to go down. Or we can bless the weapon to offset that. Let's do that. Thank you. Get it on him. Whoa. Even with the magic defense buff. Brutal. Okay. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three. And uh, I feel like there should be an animation surrounding them whenever they do like a max boost. Like some kind of state animation. Add to that, you know? Restores part of full health. Should I do that? That's 100 MP. But I have plenty of mana vials, and everybody is kind of hurting. Uh, I better do that. Don't die on me yet. Nice. Okay. Uh, you got some boost points, along with an axe. So let's see if we can cut through that defense, and... Plus the strong attack buff. Let's do some DC damage. Yeah! Okay. Mm, Riker, how many boost points do you have? Just one? Screw it. Let's use it. Ugh, it's not a lot of damage at all. For a weak hit, anyway. Okay, so we're losing some status effects here. Ashton, you can. Uh, you should probably heal yourself, actually, now that I think about it. Let's go there. Real weakness? No, nah, we're good with that. Uh, how many boost points you got? Just the one. But there's no defense buff, so I feel like we should take advantage of that before he reapplies it. Let's go with the strong attack on this. There we go. No boost points. I tremor. What the hell? Why not? So we do like what? 100 damage? Or 200? Someone's dying. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I'll take that. Uh. Because I feel like he can take... Yeah, he can take us out in, like, one go. I'd better... Whoa. Well, I'm only doing this here. Screw it. Why not? Well, there's our... Uh, there's our AOE attack that I was talking about earlier. But I still think that should be an actual standard skill for at least one of the party members. Uh, that being said... <laughs> why not? Oh. Okay, so straight damage. No, let's let's start healing a little bit. Who knows? Maybe once one of those bosses that you know, once they reach under half HP, they start getting a little serious. 
I noticed that Earth Coffin has just started being used, so look at that. Yeah, see, all three attacks were on him. If I didn't heal, I think he probably would have died. So we got some boost points saved up for Ashton. What should we do? Let's boost the heal. And get Max out of that critical HP there. There we go. Hey, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we should probably take this time to heal. But then again, if they're paralyzed, are they like way... Is it like a defense debuff type of thing? Not sure. Uh, in any case, we don't want to take any chances here. I understand that he is almost gone, but... Nice. Uh, he might be done after this. Oh, no plus points. Let's just do a strong attack anyway. Yeah. Um, and hit hard with a boost. Not taking any chances. Going out with a bang. Bye bye. Can't beat, but you can't kill. I'm only getting stronger. Seems I've improved a bit. Another level reached. Nice. Holy Rain sounds like an AOE attack. That other little cut, did you see that part where it just cut out there for we a second after the, the screen? Like, it's just, there's there's a little issue it. with your transitions there. <sighs> we did. Okay, so, I'm going to skip this. Oh, this all this all stuff that's left. Man, like, around, what a pain. pain. Why do I have to be? Pain. This is going What's to be this? such a waste. Oh, or maybe not. It's been a while, Ashton. Pride. You know each other? Of course. You know. How long have we known each other now? 110? No. Maybe 120 years. He's kidding, right? Uh, I came here to see who broke this machine, but I never expected you to be. Now that I'm thinking about it, why are you? Dagger. The reason wouldn't have anything to do with a certain... How did you... Yep. How did I know? <laughs> I can just tell by looking at you that you're cursed. But... Uh, that greed's already taken it. What? That's right. And what a shame, too, since collecting all 14 divine weapons. That's right. Wow, I got it right first try. I should really be a detective. So what now? Are you going to kill me? <laughs> Something about the collecting all 14 divine weapons is, just seems off. Like, just say all divine weapons and then maybe elaborate on how many there are later. I'm sure it's not going to be the first time you're going to allude to it. Oh, no, no, no. In fact... I'm going to do the exact opposite. You what? Like, if it was a smaller number, like three, then I'd be like, okay, whatever. But it's just like, are you here to get all 317 divine weapons? I'm going to offer you my weapon and my services. If you meet a certain condition of mine. And what would that be? Well, obviously that condition is not going to be something they're going to take. To make Greed give you her weapon and that deck. For anyone else, this would be a suicide mission. I'll do it. Oh, if you well, are then. willing to help, fool me. I'll make her hand over the dagger and her weapon. All right, that's what I wanted. This was worth it after all. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem like this guy's trustworthy. About all this gets me excited. <laughs> Try not to dis. Divine weapons? You're cursed. I know. It's a lot to explain. After we finish the test, let's meet back up at the guild. I'll explain everything there. Wow, you guys look pretty beat up. Was the dungeon that difficult for you all? You could say that. Well, anyway, you did exactly... With this, you three are all now full-fledged adventurers. Welcome to the adventure. All right, sweet. Okay, guys, we finished the first chapter. I'm going to call it here. Um, some parting thoughts. This is where I kind of ramble, and I, I always tend to forget what I said previously. But um, I'll try and give a little summary. Um, when I toggle off that HUD, keep it off, please. <laughs> it came back twice now. Um, this is a great game. This is, this is honestly a great game. Um, it's been making its rounds around the community. A lot of LPers are playing it, and uh, for good reason. You know, when, when players are attracted to a game like this, it means it's good. Um, and it's, it's just, it's a good game all around. I, I enjoy it. Um, I, just to kind of expand on, or not so much, just revisit what I said earlier. 
I, I actually like how you did the boost mechanic. I think it's it's pretty cool. It's very rewarding. Like, you know, when you take the time to really kind of strategize. Uh, that boss fight was actually really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I just, I foresee issues with the balancing there. And I'm not too sure what you're going to run into. I guess I just worry about people forgetting to use the boost. That That's basically it. I just worry about that. Um, if you can nip that in the butt and just kind of make that a non-issue, I think you'll be all right. I, I think you'll be all right. Um... I do find, like I said, you lean a little bit too heavily into it. I think it too many things rely on boost being used as opposed to being kind of like, you know, a subtle bonus. You know what I mean? I feel like it should be a subtle bonus and, you know, people shouldn't have to be like forced to use it all the time type of thing. You know what I mean? Because what I will say is, and this can be a little bit frustrating, um, not for boss battles, but for kind of like just, uh, you know, the regular trash mobs, making sure that I remember to hit W every time a certain number of times and having to manage that um, in between almost every other turn, it, it can be a little, it can be a little frustrating. It can be kind of annoying. Um, and so the fact that I would have to do that throughout the entire game, um, you know, like this is the thing, right? We're all doing first impressions videos. We're all playing your game for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. We're not playing it in its entirety. And you know, you're not getting, you're not always getting the the perspective of like the casual gamer, right? The person who isn't you know, uploading videos for, you know, the community and things like that and trying to, like, specifically play your game to give a specific kind of impression, right? Like, these are the people who, while the, myself included, you know, while we're valuable in terms of making your game better and in the feedback that we give, um, sometimes it doesn't always, like, it doesn't correlate to the actual experience that most of the people playing your game will have, right? And so you kind of have to watch out for that. So um, I'm not saying that you aren't watching out for it. You're obviously a great developer, and that's uh, that's not something I, I think you have to worry about. Um, but again, these are kind of just musings, I guess, uh, thoughts that I want to share. Um, other than that, great game, Tron. Uh, this is really, really good. I enjoyed it, and uh, I'm glad that this was the game that I chose to get back to. Wait a minute, what the hell? Hold on. Those... Hey, there's, there's curves here. So I noticed you didn't do that with the first town. Maybe you forgot about them? But anyway, good job. That's that's what I was looking for. Interesting. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, I, I'm very, very glad that this is the first game that I came back to. And uh, I want to keep this stuff going. So, uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you subscribe. I, I really don't care about any of that stuff. Um, this is more about the community and kind of perpetuating that cycle of positivity. Um, if people are playing my games and giving me good feedback and helping each other in the servers and all that kind of stuff... Um, and you guys can enjoy videos like this where, you know, maybe you're getting ideas off it or, you know, maybe my feedback is helping you or helping remind you of different things where it's just like, oh yeah, shoot, I forgot to do that in my game. Maybe I should do that in my game. Type of That's what it's all about, right? So um, I want to keep this going and hopefully I have enough time um, to do more first impression videos with more frequency because right now... I know I said I came back, but it's just not looking good. I'm so busy with other things. So anyways, guys, that's it for me. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.